Well, gloomy and gray this afternoon, but I can promise you some more sunshine for the weekend. Looking out through our Marblehead Lighthouse camera, usually you see those brilliant blue skies, but it is gray and overcast, and there is still some drizzle out the door right now. You'll notice those speckles of green dotting radar right now. That shows you the light spitting rain that will continue for the next several hours. There is a little bit of patchy fog down in Putnam County, two mile visibility, and whenever it's gray and overcast, I recommend those headlights and windshield wipers just for safety and visibility on the roads behind this cold front that is now in the mid Atlantic region. There is some moisture and low level cloud cover and due to that low level moisture, we are still seeing some spotty rain showers. Temperature wise, it is quite a bit cooler and less humid. 66 in the Metro 67 in Fremont mid to upper 60s along the Lake Erie shoreline and that water temperature warmer than any of our thermometer temperatures this afternoon. While the weather is quiet here at home, we still do have our eyes on the tropics as we look towards the equatorial tropical Atlantic and we're keeping a very close eye on major hurricane Lee right now 155 mile per hour winds after yesterday's rapid intensification. We still have category four status, a very powerful hurricane that is moving west northwest. Confidence is high in this storm track over the next 72 hours, maintaining major hurricane status, but after that it gets a little more murky. The most likely scenario is this blue arrow that takes it well out to sea. However, there are still some outliers from computer models both on the west and the eastern side of things. It's a very low probability that this interacts with the east coast, but it is still a very slight chance, even though the most likely scenario does take it out to the Atlantic Sea. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast. Still seeing a little bit of drizzle to the south of Toledo through the afternoon, heading towards high school football time. Most areas start to dry on out. High temperatures not even making it out of the upper 60s. It'll be a cooler and damp day. Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday 66 at kickoff. We're going to be in the low 60s by the fourth quarter. I'd recommend that rain jacket, even though most spots are going to be mainly dry and just cloudy gray and overcast. All right, so when does the sun return? The weekend is going to be brighter and milder, low humidity level and a comfy feel with temperatures up in the 70s. And we've got a great forecast tomorrow at the Glass Bowl. Looking at that home opener kickoffs at 330 and temperatures will be in the low 70s with partly sunny skies. Increasing sunshine expected for your Saturday. Still going to be a little overcast in the morning turning brighter into the afternoon and we get sunshine Sunday with nice and low humidity levels. If you are a fan of fall, the cooler setting continues through mid September. That blue color over the country's midsection shows you below normal temperatures. Our average highs around 80 and we are going to stay below average for the next 10 days. Milder Sunday and Monday, but then a cold front brings spotty rain showers Tuesday, Wednesday and possibly into Thursday. That'll drop temperatures back down to the 60s, but we do rebound to the upper 70s with sunshine by the end of the 10 day forecast. Amanda. All right, John. Thank